Uh, AP Psych is a great class. So the average day for me going home with AP Psych, uh, I spend about an hour on the objectives, the homework, taking notes. It's not hard as in the material is hard to understand, but there is a lot of, of homework with the objectives. And then in class, we use the notes and we have discussions based on what we read at home. And Miss Fatel makes class super exciting. I recommend everybody should take Chan for AP Bio. And I really think this class is worth it because although the workload might be a lot and you have homeworks every, you have to turn in every week and there's a lot of work to do it, but it's really rewarding in the end because you learn how a lot of the biology works and the really, the, the deeper meaning because Mr. Chan is a really good teacher. This is a lot of self study. And if you're ready to just buckle down and work hard, I think that class will not be a challenge at all. So a typical day in the Chan world would be you would go in, sit down, you would um, he would lecture you for a while, and then you would take notes. And his lectures are really interesting because he always uses like um, diagrams or he uses like some sort of he uses objects to explain things and it's really interesting and he does it really well and then you might take a quiz and the quizzes usually consist of like five or six questions that you would have read the night before. Make sure you take account of what other classes are thinking of it because um, if you think of like their pair of PE and um, algebra 2 honors or even pre-cal honors then it will be kind of hard to handle it. Just be careful and manage your time wisely but otherwise I think that class is very you start out with one chapter a week, but that might seem steep, but as you keep going along, you get used to the workload. And then he does two chapters a week and three chapters a week until you finish the whole book. And it's like a lot of work, and you have tests almost every week. So you should try really hard, and you should be able to succeed. Hey, are you interested in AP Chemistry? I'm Mr. Lee, and I'll be your AP Chem teacher. <laughs> it's pretty difficult, and it it takes a lot of time, but it's pretty rewarding in the end. But um, in the beginning, it's very overwhelming because you have to know all the basic necessities for chemistry in order to understand the harder things. AP so, Chem was a pretty fun class. I recommend it to those who like mathematics. It basically piles on a lot of memorization work in the very beginning, so it's a little bit overwhelming. But once you get that down, everything else kind of it kind of falls in place. You just have to pay attention to class. The classes run. It's kind of it's just lectures every day, and then notes, and then we have a lab every two weeks, I think, and we have our tests, and we have our weekly quizzes, and we also have reaction quizzes, which are pretty crazy, but you'll find out about that if you take the class. So if you are, just uh, remember that this is a very challenging class, and you're going to have to study every day, um, and make sure you uh, have good study habits. And a really good math skill is really important. Um, as well. I really recommend this class for people that are really driven and know what they want because this class, Mr. Lee's not going to hold your hand through the process. He's not going to tell you to do your homework or study for the test. It's basically all up to you. He gives you the calendar and you do everything by yourself. So it's kind of like, it prepares you for college, which is why I do recommend this class because though it's difficult, it helps you build study skills and social skills and just a bunch of skills that you will need in life. The actual AP test is easier than the test Mr. Lee gives you. So if you get do well on these tests, you should be set for the AP test. Only take the class if you're willing to work. And don't complain. Mr. Lee hates complaining. If you complain, you will die. I mean, for me, <laughs> chemistry and science is definitely not my best subject. And I'm definitely not going into a science major. But I definitely think that AP Chemistry is going to help me in the future with not just science classes, but with all of my college classes in total. So, if you don't study, you will die. Yes. Work hard and stay on task. <laughs> and also just do whatever I tell you and do on a timely basis. That's, that's your best chance of success. Alright, so AP Physics B, there's some pros and some cons. For the pros, the teacher, Mr. Kumar, is amazing. He's an amazing person and he will spend as much time as needed to help you understand the subject. You can go to him after class, uh, after school, during lunch, and he will stop what he's doing and help you learn the subject. Another good thing about the class is that there's no uh, useless work in there. We have two categories for a grade. 5% is homework and 95% is test. And 
there's no like BS work. So you should study a lot and you should do all the homework. You should do the homework um, diligently. And you learn the subject and once he thinks you understand it, you get tested on it. That's Don't it. just randomly do it last minute. Uh, study a lot for the test since the tests are a lot of your grade. Classes. Having taken all three um, AP Science courses, I can easily say that AP Physics is the hardest AP Science course that Irvington has to offer. It's a pretty interesting class, but sometimes it gets a little confusing because it's physics and it's kind of difficult. So the one thing that I really wish that AP Physics students told me before I took the class is Kumar skips a lot of steps. Uh, it is the level of mathematical maturity more than anything else. Uh, the, your work ethic and your time management skills that do come into play more than anything else and your willingness to work very hard. And so he assumes that your math is very very strong so uh, he would skip steps in geometry, he would skip steps in trigonometry so it, it was hard to adjust. In terms of grade, well it's easy to pass. Anything else is a struggle. <laughs> I would actually recommend um, having learned pre-cal already um, since Mr. Kumar likes talking about calculus. And the class is not nothing like biology or chemistry. In biology or chemistry, uh, not to offend other classes, but it's all based on memorization or plugging and chugging an equation and spewing out an answer. In physics, every single question on the homework, on the test, whatever, is very individual. Everything has its own formula, its own equation that you have to figure out yourself. Overall, I would, if you're going to a science major, I would definitely recommend this class. Really interested in science or no, they like physics. Um, but if you just have a strong base in math, it's a, it's a good class to take. This class. Um, and even if you're not, I would recommend taking this class just because Mr. Kumar is the teacher and he's awesome. The thing is, for the lab reports, he expects you to um, be really concise. So ask him if you have any questions about how to write it because he doesn't actually give you an official like, uh, rubric or how to write it. Like. And so like in biology and chemistry, it'll be 10, 20, 30% critical thinking, but in AP Physics B, it's maybe 60, 70, 80%. Bang for the buck wise, I can't think of any other classes that will tell the college that you have quote unquote arrived. And I just strongly encourage you guys to review the information before, review the physics information uh, before you take the class because it, it at least gives you a foundation before you, before he throws in skipping steps and a lot of formulas. Kumar, yeah. All right.